Sinna, we have already seen uh, the graphical representations of uh, the ideal solutions as well as non-ideal solutions. We also studied the issue of positive and negative deviation. Now, what is the cause of this deviation? If this particular concept is asked to you, so we very well know they are showing some deviation. We said, okay, delta H mixing, no. But basically, what is the cause? When we go into the micro level of that, if I see what actually is the cause, let's learn that cause first. Now, we said <coughs> non-ideal solutions are going to show two types of deviations. That is your positive deviation and your negative deviation. Simple reason actually it is, but you have supposed to write the keywords. That is important. Now, we said we have two, two uh, solutions. One is suppose if I take uh, your uh, water and uh, head seal. That is your uh, example for that. So, I have two components, isn't it? A and B. Water and head seal, I said. Suppose if the interactions between A, B and A, A and B, B. Let us see the molecular interaction. Suppose this interaction between A and B is weaker. A, B interactions are weaker than A and here A, B interactions are stronger than A, A and B, B. Let us be in between. This is, uh, this, this is inter and this is intra among itself. Now, if this is weaker, what will happen immediately? The bond between A and B breaks that when it breaks what will happen it will try to vaporize in the beaker when it is trying to vaporize in the beaker automatically it is it shows positive deviation that is deviation above the Raoult's law because already the bond is weaker I'll be doing a question here you'll understand so the bond is weaker and the cleavage of the bond is easy when it is easy vaporization also will be easy and when vaporization is easy higher would be the value isn't it it will show positive value compared to ideal solution so let us write what did i say now i said first condition is a b interactions condition one a b interactions are weaker than this when when it is weaker <coughs> bond dissociation is easy yes when it is easy yeah the molecule or the molecules escape from the solution easily correct when they escape from the solution easily vapor pressure for those is higher compared to ideal solutions hence positive deviation above the ideal solution curve simple isn't it now next negative deviation now negative deviation i said this is your condition one first important the bond between them is very strong right so when it is strong it's going to hold the the molecular interaction will the both will be together isn't it the attraction will be very strong when it is stronger what will happen bond dissociation will be very difficult higher energy so the escaping tendency also will be low when the escaping tendency is low the vapor pressure exerted also will be low when it is low automatically the curve will be negative that is below the ideal solutions let us come back and write whatever i said just now a b interactions are stronger okay let us write a b interactions if it is not clear a b interactions are stronger than these two if they are stronger what will happen yes escaping tendency from solution decreases when escaping tendency decreases vapor pressure exerted also decreases down arrow when it is decreasing what will happen to the value when you plot in the graph hence shows negative deviation this is your reason right in the ideal solution below this ideal solution so now 
if it is weaker this have operated if it is stronger this is not have operating on what basis are we treating what criteria always remember the deviations depend upon two criteria one is polarity of the bond very important and second important thing is the structure the structure of the molecules also is important based on two factors only i am writing so much so the deviation depends upon the interaction between the molecule that is indirectly depend upon depending upon the structure right and also depends upon the polarity of the molecules both the molecules done so based on this concept i'm going to let us solve this question suppose if the, this question is given to you ethanol and cyclohexane solutions show positive deviation from ideal solution okay that means the interactions are weak done explain in terms of differences in structure and polarity of two components done that means they are asking us to show what is the reason first important thing let us write given example this is ethanol <coughs> second example cyclohexane let us take this as component a let us take this as component b now they are showing positive deviation means compulsory the interaction should be weaker why is it weaker what is important what is this ethanol basically ethanol is going to show which type of bonding it shows hydrogen bonding isn't it this is going to link with one more uh, uh, this one uh, right let us write above okay if it is confusing like this okay let us write above done this is a hydrogen bond formed so because of this hydrogen bonding yeah when cyclohexane now this and this are strong hydrogen bonding not a problem but when cyclohexane is trying to approach this ethanol this is going to break the because cyclohexane molecule when i see two cyclohexanes now this is what this is aa now when i take bb your cyclohexane molecule between both the cyclohexane the interactions are very very weak bb interactions are weak means that's not so stronger right a weak so what will happen this cyclohexane when you're trying to interact it will come and break the hydrogen bonding first important thing it will break hydrogen bonding because they asked me to explain in terms of structure isn't it yes hydrogen bonding when it is breaking the hydrogen bonding ab bonds are they are weak when they are weak what will happen vapor pressure <coughs> oh, exerted by them means they will escape from the solution very fast escape from solution very fast when they escape from solution very fast what will happen to the vapor pressure exerted very fast hence show positive deviation they are going to show positive deviation above the ideal solution simple isn't it only logic you have to remember for positive AB is weaker then AA and BB the other way for negative AB is stronger than AA and BB that's why it will not vaporize.